Alright, today we're going to be talking about some vendors that you can get free gold from. I did this in Wrath of the Lich King where I showed how to get free gold from Gadget San and Shatrith, just running around collecting free money from vendors. You can still make a decent amount of gold. I like to do this, just check the vendors as I'm leveling, I'll run by and check them or whatever. But you can make probably 10 gold an hour if you sit and farm some of these. This list is going to be somewhat horde focused, but I did include an alliance vendor in here that the horde can't get to and you can actually make a lot of gold from that vendor farming it and uh, putting it on the neutral auction house because the horde does not have a equivalent vendor at all so let's get into it the first one here is going to be the vendor that walks around from terran mill to south shore the goblin guy so he's actually more valuable than he used to be because he started selling the elixir of coalesced regret and that is needed for people to craft their epic items and it's super cheap it's only one silver and you can put it and sell it on the auction house i used to be selling these for a gold or two now i only sell them for about 20 silver but that's still a 19 silver profit for just checking in the vendor whenever you run by he also sells an enchant that you can flip and he sells the recipe for earthen shoulders that uh, you get a little bit of profit from the red woolen bag is also a very good um, recipe to buy because it's only six silver and you can flip it for quite a lot because people like to have that for tailoring so they can sell it and whatever else so next vendor we have here is the uh, Dark Iron Entrepreneur. This guy sells a bunch of axes that are really good for the horde because the orc racial. He also sells the elite shoulders, which are, um, I'm pretty sure they're prebis. If they're not prebis, they're really close to prebis. But when I was recording this, he was not selling them. He's hidden in the zone where you farm for Dark Iron Ordnance, and he's behind a bunch of level 30 mobs. And this one is the alliance only vendor he sells a couple engineering recipes but the one that we care about is the minor recombobulator this thing is needed for speed runs and uh, it's just very convenient for people because there's not a lot of trinkets right now it's basically a mana potion it's really helpful because it's on a different cooldown than the mana potion and people without mana can also equip it and then use it on people with um with mana to give them mana. It, it doesn't just work on yourself, you can target somebody else and use it on them. And this recipe is only available to the Alliance. The Horde cannot buy this uh, recipe, they don't have the equivalent vendor. So you can make a lot of gold selling this on the Neutral Auction House. The next one here is the guy in the um, Sepulcher. He sells a bunch of limited quantity leatherworking and cooking and tailoring recipes and you can flip them for a couple silver. I also buy the cooking ones that aren't limited quantity because you can still make money flipping these on the auction house just because people don't want to run out to this zone that's kind of out in the way. And while you're in the area you can also go to the cooking trainer in Undercity. The cooking supplies vendor right beside him sells a whole bunch of recipes. And the smoked sagefish is bis for any class that uses mp5 it's the best mp5 food in the game right now the next vendor is Rannick in ratchet and he sells the recipe for the rage potion hargris in orgrimmar also sells the rage potion recipe and the recipe for the greater rage potion but right now you can't use the greater rage potion but come next phase you will be able to use it so it might be worth buying them now so either from this gnome in tinkertown if you're alliance or from core gelled in the alchemy training room in orgrimmar if you're horde they both sell the free action potion and the elixir of superior defense the elixir of superior defense is not good right now because we can't use it but the free action potion is definitely worth buying and lastly the venture co entrepreneur in the stone talon mountains sells the elite shoulders he also sells some other boes that aren't worth as much but you can still buy them and flip them all right so i hope you found this helpful hope you make a lot of gold flipping items if you want to see another video where I go over some more vendors because there's quite a few that I skipped over 
and I'm sure there's a lot of Alliance ones that I missed. Um, leave a like and comment below if you know any vendors that you wouldn't mind sharing. And check out my other Season of Discovery guides on my channel.